Yes. Hi there guys and welcome back to the final part of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets as a part of my Monday Night at the Movie series. Uh, so yeah, let's carry on from where we left off last time. As you've never travelled by flu powder before, you need to know a few things. When you're in the fireplace, say where you're going and keep your elbows tucked in. Mind you get <laughs> out at the right fireplace. Are you sure this is safe? Piece of cake! Diagon <coughs> Alley! <laughs> oh. It's essentially like a mini game. It's like the uh the mine shaft rides at Gringotts in the uh in the first game. <laughs> <laughs> Almost didn't make it. All right. Harry had no idea where he was. All he could tell was that he wasn't in Diagon Alley. Evil looking masks stared down from the wall and rusty spiked instruments hung from the ceiling. Da, uh, the sooner I get out of here, the better. Nocturne Alley. Harry heard a Diagon Alley. the door nearby. And two blurry shapes appeared on the other <coughs> side of the glass. <coughs> Harry looked quickly around and spotted a large black cabinet. He shot inside it and pulled the doors closed, leaving a small crack to peer through. Seconds later, a bell clanged. And Draco Malfoy stepped into the shop. Of course he did. The man who was with Draco could only be his father. Lucius Malfoy. Harry went to Flourish and Blots to buy his books. While he was in there, Gilderoy Lockhart, Hogwarts' new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, was signing his latest book. Is nice that big right? smile, Harry. Together you and I were the front page. Harry met up with Ron and Ginny Weasley. Lucius and Draco Malfoy were also there. Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Ginny, who was very fond of Harry, defended him. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Lucius Malfoy insulted the scruffy state of the second-hand books Ginny had bought. I suppose those books are the best your father can give you. Lucius plucked a copy of A Beginner's Guide to Transformation from Ginny's Cauldron, examined it briefly, and then replaced it. No one at that time realized how much of an effect this gesture from Lucius Malfoy would have on their lives. And they all left the shop, none the wiser. Well, that's they because he the put Tom Charing Riddle's Cross diary Road, in And there. after making it invisible, flew it into the sky over London. They saw the Hogwarts Express far below and followed it for some time. Hang on. They didn't even tell you that they missed the train. <laughs> just, yeah, now they just decided to fly to school because, you know, it's just easier. Fuck it. Looks like we've lost the train. Let's check out that tunnel. Yeah, good idea to fly into a train tunnel, isn't it, in a freaking car? Looks like we found the train, Ron. <laughs> Try not to scratch the paintwork or my dad will kill me. What are we doing then? Am I going to have to outrun the train? Stay ahead of the train and watch out for any obstacles. I need to pick up these speed boosts. Uh, I haven't picked up the speed boost yet. All right, there's one. Not another. Two. Three. Oh, hitting the sides. Oh. Oh, stay ahead of the train, Harry. Oh. 
Jesus, almost got smushed by the train. Come on. Didn't quite make that one. Stop you, stop you chiming at me. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I oh, missed that one. Shit. So now I've got to stay damage free and pick up the speed boosts. Oh, shit. Oh. Well. The car's getting wrecked. Oh, shit. Back on track. Ooh. All right, we made it out the other end of these tunnels. Does that mean we've... Uh, I think we've done it. Well, holy crap, that was great. Phew, that was really close. I didn't think we'd make it out of the tunnel. Excellent, we nearly Harry. didn't. There's Hogwarts. Try and land the car in the castle grounds. Oh dear. Uh, are we going to have to fight our way down the tree? No, we're alright. But I'm going to have to fight the tree to, to help to the tree and cast Ron Christ. Like his mouth. Yeah. Alright. God damn it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you. Shut up, you, Ron. Ooh, we got him. Christ. The Wumping Willow's not happy. But at least Ron's out, eh? By the time Harry and Ron had escaped from the Wumping Willow, the sorting ceremony had already begun. They peered in at the Great Hall and watched as the aged old sorting hat placed new students into the four Hogwarts houses as it had for so many years past. Hang on, where's Snape? And then, from behind him, <laughs> came the voice Harry dreaded to hear. It was Professor Snape, Harry's least favorite teacher. I'm waiting it's to more like Lord Farquaad didn't arrive on the school train. It was a great start to the term, thought Harry, as they followed Snape to his office. Once there, Snape nastily admonished them about flying the car to Hogwarts. You will go immediately to your common room, and I will think about how to punish you. Okay. Can you believe our luck? Fred and George must have flown that car five or six times, and they never had an accident. I really thought we'd get expelled for sure. Come on, Ron. Let's go to the Gryffindor common room. Do you think you can remember the way? No problem. Follow me. Now nah, I'm going to get some stuff first, man. To the front hall. Potter, stay at Hogwarts. Oh, fuck off, Dobby. <coughs> Ah. Ah. Didn't do enough there, Dobby, did you? Didn't quite stop me. It's really you. I'm Colin, oh, Colin Creevy. I'm in Gryffindor too. Would it be all right if I took your picture? Everyone told yeah, I me guess about so. how you survived when you know who tried to kill you. And you really do have that lightning scar on your forehead. It's brilliant. Yes, I here, really do. But uh, yeah, it's fine, I guess. Okay. We're nearly there. Password. Uh, Pigsnout? Caput Draconis? I'm sorry, but that is not the password. Ah, oh, for oh, God's no. sake. We don't know the password for the fat lady's portrait. Now we won't be able to get in. 
you are here to see if another Gryffindor passes by. I'll find Hermione. She'll know the password. Okay, so that is it for Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets as a part of my Monday Night at the Movie series. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including more Monday Night at the Movies, then please subscribe. And I will see you next time.